Now my enthusiasm for vintage Austins is well known. There's something rather special about them. They're honest, beautifully engineered, and they just have that certain character. This is a 166, she's 1930, a car I've actually known for 40 years. And um, it's really a good survivor because it's only ever had very sympathetic restoration. They're very nice, these. They're just a little bit quicker on the road than the 12.4. Two and a quarter litre six cylinder engine. It's a lovely old long stroke lump with plenty of torque. Uh, this car had an engine rebuild, I guess it must have been sort of around 40 years ago, I think, by Vosper Thornycroft. And um, I don't think it's done a big mileage since, but certainly on the road it's very sweet. Bags of torque and uh, a nice exhaust mode. The original interior has fared very, very well. The carpets have obviously been replaced at some time. But all the, the door cards and all the upholstery is nice and supple. She's got the magazine and, uh, net in the roof. And of course the ubiquitous smoker's hatch that every saloon used to have to let the fog and pipe smoke out. Everything works. <coughs> Klaxon horn is de rigueur, of course, for a vintage motor car. And uh, she's got, you know, so to cope with modern traffic conditions, she's got flashing indicators and they are discreetly fitted. In fact, I will show you a lovely period piece at the back. She's a bit dusty actually at the moment because we haven't yet had a chance to give her a good polish because she's not long been with us. But this is a lovely thing. And it all works too, the stop lamp and combined indicators. I will, I will demonstrate. Yes, everything is working. It's just nice to have these things. And of course, she's got the luggage rack ready for your hamper. Original Surrey registration. Just a charming old car. And wire wheels were the way you distinguished a 16 from a 12. The 12 normally had the, uh, the artillery wheels up until 1932. And then you had the option of wires. But... Uh, the 16 always had a standard issue, it had the wire wheels. And from, from 1930, this sun visor was a standard feature. Very correct in all the details, the correct type of wiper arm and the proper mirror. The Boyce motor meter with the wings is a nice touch. She's had a replacement radiator at some point. And the Lucas Biflex lamps were a correct and original feature, of course. Always good, dependable cars, Austins. And of course, the Vintage Austin Register provides a very good spare service. Nice light blue coach line, correctly painted, not stuck. We do hate it when people use tape. Oh, nasty. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.